When you hear about crime in Trinidad and Tobago, it is almost like reading a story about the wild, wild west. In case you did not know, I do cover crime and by extension the results of crime on this channel, so make sure to subscribe, like and comment. When you do this, it lets me know you like the videos I create and encourages me to create even more for you. Anyway, back to the wild wild west aka tricky land aka Trinidad and Tobago. Yesterday I was watching the news about three, possibly four, armed bandits involved in a devious plan to rob a minimart. When they arrived at the establishment brandishing their guns, they violently attacked the owner but were met with resistance. Unknown to these up to no good delinquents of society, the mini mart they were trying to rob had within its walls three FUL holders. FUL means firearms user's license, or in other words, they have a license to legally carry a gun. So this mini mart was prepared. You see the owner whipped out his gun and fired back along with another. But that is not all. At the same time, there was someone from the TTPS or Trinidad and Tobago Police Service patronizing the store. So they all got in on the action. The outcome was two dead bandits while one escaped in a getaway car. Now here's the thing. This could have played out differently if the bandits could have simply had their way. Money would have been lost, the owners and others would have been brutally beaten, and they would have to live as victims in fear for the rest of their lives. But now, any bandit thinking to rob a place will have second thoughts. They will now have to consider, consider, will the owner have a gun and fire back? So here's the question for you good folks watching this channel. Should more businessmen be issued with FULs in order to protect themselves and their customers? Before you consider, think about this. Who issues the criminals with their FULs? The bandits of today are brazen, have technology at their disposal, and many ca even carry weapons that are in league or even better than some of the protective services. Bandits now descend on people like a mob. No longer do they work alone as individuals but as part of gangs that are ready to cause havoc both day and night. Now, I am not saying that every business owner should have a gun as there must be diligent checks made. However, crime is every day and the process seems lengthy and almost seems to defeat the purpose. Fighting against crime cannot be waiting like a sitting duck, become a victim and then make a 999 call after the fact. There must be a proactive measure to deter crime in the first place. What are your thoughts? Please comment in the comment area of my YouTube channel.